What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me today. This is Roger, Working Man Cigars. So today's gonna be a quick one. Um, I just got off work, came straight home, got a bomb from Eric Tran. Smoke one if you have one. Uh, I'm trying to do these unboxing things in camera so then I can go ahead and show my reaction or whatever. But the funny thing is this is my, <laughs> this is my box that I sent him. And I think we've done that a few times. Like I did that with, with uh, Tony. I do that like sometimes if any of you get boxes from me, it's gonna say 202, 2002, 2002. That's cause it's a, um, that's a box for my PO box. So yeah, it's just, I think it's funny. But all right, let's go ahead and open this up. All right. So I'm excited about this because uh, Eric smoked one if you have one has a crazy palette and he likes to smoke really cool sticks. For those of you, I know some, some people are into knives. This is my Rick Hinder. Dude, I'm having a brain fart. I can't believe I don't remember what my knife is. But this is my Hinder, blue scales. My, uh, my wife bought me this knife. From, like for those of you, I know some people are into carry, but yeah, this is a dope ass knife. I love this this knife. It's a little bit chunky. I don't. I mean, I use it for work, but it's a, it's a big knife. I normally tend to like carrying smaller knives, but yeah. All right, Eric always wraps his stuff really good. Look, he puts like a bunch of of stuff in here to protect the cigars, which is cool. Oh shit! So look, right off the bat. Okay, so you guys know I sent Eric a. A unicorn, a uh, mi querida su uh, unicorn, the, the black. And uh, he actually sent me a one of the old unicorns. Look at this, the, the previous year unicorns. Dang, that's cool, man. Dang, look at, I had seen these. I had seen these, like, pictures of these. Check that out, man. Thank you, Eric. So right off the bat, that's a dope-ass cigar right there. Again, man, look at, the, dude, look at the stuff they send, man, like, and then they, I will tell you, like, Eric and Tony are like this, right? Eric will tell me, hey, man, don't worry about it. We're just having fun. Like, we just, you know, it's okay. You don't have to worry about bombing back. But how can you not when you get stuff like this? Like, look at this. Look at this. God damn, man. Look at this big-ass package. Freaking Eric. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. All right, so let's get into this. Right off the bat. Placencia, Year of the Rabbit. Look at this killer cigar, man. Looking forward to, tr to, to trying this cigar. Here we got a Espinosa knuckle sandwich. This is the Habano. He had told me he was gonna send me a pepper bomb that rules all other pepper bombs just to try it out. So I'm gonna see how that goes. Here he, oh, oh wow, dang, this is crazy. This is a God of Fire Aniversario 2019. Look at this big ass cigar, man. This must be like a Churchill or something. Look at this thing, it's huge. It doesn't look that big, but it's it's big, trust me. Um, awesome, man. I love God of Fire. Here we have, oh, this is an 888 Arturo Fuente Añejo. Look at this thing. It's not a Lancero. It's a little bit thicker than a Lancero, but it has that like a torpedo shape. So this is cool, man. I'm looking forward to trying this. Wait, am I not supposed to show this cigar? If I'm not, I'll take it out. This is a freaking killer cigar, man. This is a dope ass cigar. This, I've, I've been waiting to get one of these. This is the Shadow Smoker Legion cigar that they had gotten made. Look at this thing. This is dope, dude. Wow, looking forward to trying this one here. Really excited about it. People on on Discord were like trying to like trying to get these from each other because they're they're dope cigars, man. That's cool. Really happy about that. Here we have an uh, Espinoso Murcielago. This is the TAA exclusive. Now the TAA is like that little Indian that they have on the um, Tobacconist Association of America. I used to think TAA was Toast Across America. I don't know why. I just always thought that's what it was. Here we have a Liga Privada T52. This is a huge ass Liga Privada. Look at this thing. This thing's humongous. Dang. Here we have, you know what? I've always seen these Arturo Fuentes. I think this is like the Flor Fina. And I've always been curious about them. Um, but I've never had one. So that's, that's dope, man. 
Here we have an Espinosa La Bomba. Wait, is this Espinosa? 601 La Bomba. Oh, dude, so Espinosa makes that. I never knew that Espinosa made that, um, that cigar. Look at this. Dang, man, this is a sick ass looking cigar. I've seen this cigar, this weird shape here. Um, I've seen it before, but I've never tried it. Here we have, I've been wanting to try this cigar. This is Daughters of the Wind by Castagli. I'm sure this is a Castagli. Gotta be a Castagli. Look at this cigar. It's a nice stick. Dang, man, see, and when I send them sticks, it's a few sticks, man. It's crazy. Um, Partigas Valle Verde. This is a torpedo shape. It's a cool looking cigar here. Here we have an Opus X, Fuente Fuente Opus X. This is a Magnum. I know that just because I always look at it at the shop, but they're too expensive for me to want to try it. But here, luckily, Eric sent one over, man. Of course he did. Eric's a fucking stand-up guy. Here we have a Casa Fuente. These cigars, I really like Casa Fuente cigars. I've well, I've smoked one, right? I shouldn't say, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like them because I didn't smoke it in the most optimal conditions and I was extremely happy with it. Very good cigar. So I'm looking forward to this one. Peter, the Cigar Collective actually sent me one too, but not in that, um, not in this specific size. So that's cool. Here we have an Atabe Black, a Ritos. Thank you, Eric. Heck yeah, I'm so glad that he sent this over because, um, so when Eric, I had heard Eric say he wanted this cigar, right? And I thought, anytime I hear them say, oh, I really want that, like I log it in my head. So I went to go look for it and I found it. And I'm like, no. And I looked all online and I found it on one website and I'm like, they're not gonna get this cigar. This, I'm gonna freaking surprise Eric with this stick. I'm gonna get one. I got three, one for me, one for Tony, and one for Eric. And then um, I ordered it. It was gonna get there like in four days. And then I see Eric post a video on Discord where it's like, he bought the box and I'm like, damn man, of course you can't surprise these guys with any of this stuff, right? Um, but I felt kind of bummed and I did tell him, dude, I just got three sticks so I can so I can share with you guys and surprise you. But he's like, oh dude, sorry, I got it. So I ended up, um, I ended up sending two out and then I, I, the last one that I was gonna smoke, I ended up sending that one out too. So I'm glad that I got this one. So I'm extremely happy about that, man. That's dope, I, find, I get to try it. So thank you, Eric. And here we have a, oh, he told me he was going to send me this cigar. It's crazy, man, because sometimes I'll ask the guys, have you ever tried this cigar? Have you tried that one? And it's like, yeah, I got that one. Oh, yeah, I got that one too. Oh, yeah, I've smoked that one. And it's like, dude, oh, I got a few of those. And I had asked Eric about this Don Carlos, like the, uh, there's like the special reserve. Then there's this one that kind of looks like it has like an Opus, Opus X kind of, um, kind of band on it because it has a date and it, it it even has like the forbidden X kind of thing in the back. And I asked him like, hey dude, what is, um, have you had that cigar? Is it good? And he's like, yeah, man, I got one. He's like, I'll send you one. And I thought, okay, cool, man. Thank you. Heck yeah, this is so sick, man. I've been wanting to try this cigar. Very curious about the cigar. And here we have three. These are chunky boys, man. Look, three, Year of the Dragons. Grand Toros. Okay, so I have the um, I have the double Corona, and these are the Grand Toros. So thank you, Eric. I, I I had mentioned this story once where I told Eric I bought the double Coronas, and I was like, Hey man, um, if you're gonna buy some of these, because he ended up buying some of the double Coronas as well, and I was like, What can you? I'll, I'll help you sell me some of these ones. And he's like, No, I'm not gonna sell them to you, bro. Like if you really want them, I can I can I can trade you. I can give them to you. And when Eric says trade, he means give to you. Because what am I possibly going to give him to trade that's going to value this, right? Um, so to me, that kind of stuff means a lot because Eric is a is a smoke one if you have one. If you ever watch like him on, on, a, on a live stream or anything, he's a very blunt guy, very honest. He'll tell you, you know, how it is. Like they, they're... Um, I think it's like a cultural, a cultural thing as well because they're very blunt when they say things. And it, it's never with hate or with, with animosity. It's just the way they speak, right? Um, and that's why I know with Eric, I know I'm, I'm always getting the truth. And that's why when he's also very generous, very kind. Everybody that knows him knows that Eric's super generous. The, the people that Eric hangs around with, I think he is generous because everybody around him is generous, you know? Tony's super generous. Like a lot of the guys are, are I think when you surround yourself with people who are generous, you end up becoming uh, a generous type of person, I think, right? I hope. And um, 
that's why I think he is like that as well, right? Because he he I, he knows that there's nothing I could send him that would would kind of make up for the stuff that he's sending me. But he still chooses to send it, and he doesn't. He's this is the second bomb he sent me in like a, a matter of a few weeks. So um, Eric's a cool guy, and not just again, not just because cigar. Sometimes I I talk about how cool a person is. And it sounds like it's just because of the, the like, oh, because he sends good cigars. And that's not it. That's not it at all. Because I, I have friends that I deal with online with through the cigar community that don't send me anything. And I don't care. Like, we're still cool. And Eric's that type of person that if, if you didn't bomb him anything, he wouldn't care. You know, he's not an idiot. He's not going to get taken advantage of. But, like, he's a true, like, he's a very good person. I feel like I'm rambling on about Eric. But because I... I Eric's a really close friend of mine. Like, I deal with him. I talk to him a lot. So, I... I have to find a way to kind of um, eventually repay him back in some 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 way all this stuff because uh, and again not the cigars man not the cigars his gesture you know his 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 um, his generosity that stuff so I told I told Tony this right because Tony was um, the soy sauce assassin he told me like, Tony had messaged me on Instagram was like you don't, don't compete when you're when people send you bombs don't think you have to bomb right back Peter the cigar collector told me the same thing too he's like hey man don't think you have to bomb back and you have to do this stuff like you know we just some of us are just doing this when we can if we feel like if we want to like uh pretty much saying if we can if we want to we'll send some stuff out and they don't expect anything in return and I I believe them and I know how they feel because I genuinely do that for the same reason sometimes guys are like okay let me get your address and it's like and I tell them you don't have to send anything back don't there's no pressure there for you to send anything back um but Tony had told me that and I had told Tony you know what bro like in 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 I keep saying my culture I'm not even that Mexican man like my wife's hella Mexican but I'm not that Mexican but um as far as like traditional kind of values kind of thing. But there is some things that we picked up and that I have picked up from my culture. And there's some, I told Tony, there's a word called encajoso. And I don't, I didn't know exactly how to translate that into English where it's like, there's certain people, certain friends you have that like are, are medio encajosos. Like they, they, um, they're the friend that it never has their wallet, the friend that like you always have to spot, the friend that you always buy stuff. And you do it because you're friends with them and it's not a problem, but you, you always know like this person has gotten used to that and they're, they're in cajosos. They're, in their mind, they're thinking, well, this guy will spot me or this guy will take care of it or that friend will take care of it. And I never want to be that friend. And I told him, just the fact that I am friends with these guys that are so generous and cool, I never want to be that friend that's in cajoso. The, you know, and that's why I told him I will always try to to give back because I, I because I want to because I feel uh, not that I feel the need to but I feel the 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 want to do that because it'll make me feel good to 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 give to at least try to to give something back to you right because Tony I haven't put that video out either yet by this time it's hopefully it's out but Tony gave me a massive amount of stuff man a ton of of stuff that you can't buy really anywhere unless you're flying out of the country so. Uh, very very cool people very cool friends and I, I keep getting messages on on my YouTube where it's like Cool man great bomb damn man. That's awesome bomb dang the you know so many people are generous with you and There's a twinge of it that makes me feel and, and to be a hundred percent honest It makes me feel a little bit bad where I think damn man like I Wonder what from the outside perspective. It looks like like I just receive all this stuff, you know, and I, I don't know it feels weird and um I guess I'm, I'm just really lucky, right? Like that's at the end of the day, I'm just really lucky. And I, 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 I see that. Gonna try to keep, gonna try to give that back. A lot of guys, even like Tony, the Swiss Lost Assassin was like, hey man, we don't need this stuff. And I don't want to sound arrogant saying, I don't need you to send me this stuff. He's like, share it with other people. And I thought, man, that's freaking cool, man. Like that's, that's hella cool. Cause he's, um, he's honest about it. You know, like you, he's sincere about that stuff. So, so. Dang, this video is long, man. I'm freaking rambling on about this shit. People are probably like, we don't care. But all right, video's long enough. It's been a, hopefully this wasn't like a cringy, sensitive video. But I mean, I again, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by all the packages, by all the kindness and stuff that I received from everybody. And Eric's, Eric's my boy, man. I love that guy. He's super cool. I, I, I care about all my freaking friends that I've made over the, in the cigar community. You know, the people I talk to more than anybody right now. And that's pretty much it, you guys. This short video officially is somewhat short, 18 minutes, not too bad. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to review most of these. Thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Oh, and I, 
the Cigar Collective left, left a message on one of my, my videos where he's like, does this guy even review cigars, smoke cigars? He just gets bombs all day. <laughs> I don't want my video to become that. Oh shit, look, Eric sent two of these. Dude, I didn't even notice that. Dang, man, freaking tram, bro. That's crazy. But yeah, he made a comment like, does this guy even smoke cigars or he just opens bombs? And I remember Pig Jimmy said this in one of his videos, like I'm not trying to just do unboxings, I just haven't made it around to making my videos and I feel like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a honest effort to start editing my videos because I, I do shoot quite a bit. I just don't edit my damn videos and put them out. So I need to do that. But all right guys, thanks again. Have a good day.